Hi guys, my name is Sarvansh and thank you for watching my the other videos about SSM tutorial. So today we are going to discuss how you can retire your application or how you can stop the deployment. So in my last video you seen it uh, like a uh, lot of videos is about the SSEM and uh, for this video I am creating uh, because of a high demand for the, my followers they request me can you please create a video how you can decommission the package or the deployment or how you can retire application or how we can stop the deployment okay guys so let me start this video here is it two things uh when you want to retire your application or you want to disable your deployment so in i create a one more video about the package uh, package deployment expire so uh, i can show you here in the package what you need to do uh, in the package deployment you are having the option if you go the uh, deployment scheduling you are having the option to expire the deployment but under the application you cannot uh, see this option so you cannot expire your deployment or advert um, advertisement under the applications so if you go to the properties and you will not be having the option for the expired the advert okay so now how we can do do um, expire in the application so there is an option to delete so only the one option what you can do you can delete the application uh, deployment then only you can able to stop your the deployment so there is a no option to expire the uh, your application adver advertisement now another option is uh, another thing we were talking about the retire this application so if you right click under the application so here is a button to retire the application but when you are retiring any of the application you should be make sure there should not be any active deployment if there is any active deployment you cannot retire your application let's do the practical now right click click on retire the application now you will be having such kind of error it's showing clearly configuration manager cannot retire application because the other application or task sequence reference on it as in a as a deployment so he is clearly messages saying you you are having a deployment under this application so if you seen it here you are having a deployment here so that's why you cannot retire a application okay let's talk about the first how we can stop this deployment so i put it in a available mode but uh, for uh, mandatory or required mode will be the same only when we are right uh, when we are um, expiring the advert okay so let me go here in the software center in software center under the applications you can see in it google chrome application is here it's in a available mode so what we need to do uh, right click and delete this advert so now this uh, advert is deleted and this client not this every client is unable to uh, unable to install this application because advert is not there but now how it will be getting update to my the end user machine so if you are in a production so no need to do anything you need to just wait for the one hour or within the one hour your policy will be updating but if you want to you know uh, Im implement the policy immediately you can go in the policy machine policy and can click the run the policy and go here and check the policy log so once the user get the policy your application will be invisible under the software center so let me refresh it again now run this policy click ok and uh, this policy will be updating now soon and after that once the policy got updated this will be invisible okay so now you seen it here is no application and it got or uh, removed from your the software center 
why i source in the available mode because if it is in a mandatory or required mode so you cannot see in that application in the software center now the next option is to retire the application so now right click and you can click on the retire and now the status got changes to retired so now this application got retired and it no longer used to in the production or anywhere in the SSEM you cannot use this application okay uh, now the next question what if if by mistakenly I retired any of the application how I can or roll back it so now uh, right click again and here is a option to re in a state so if you click here then this status will be change so now click and see it now this application in a active mode and again you can right click and this can start a deployment okay guys so this is how you can do the retire and reinitiate the application or you can uh, delete the advert okay guys so thank you for watching this application uh, this video and hope so you learn it about how you can retire the application if the application got retired how you can roll back it or how you can delete the deployment under the application okay guys thank you for watching this video see you soon in my the next video